What's up Tunnel Snake Solid Spawn here back with some more Fallout 4 here on the channel and in this video I will be showing you guys all of these settlement locations where you can build whatever you want. Now I do recommend that you save this video in a playlist or leave a like so it saves in a playlist automatically just so that you can come back to this video whenever you want to locate a place where you want to uh, build a settlement but the first one we have here is the sunshine's tidings co-op and it's really close to vault 111 and this is a small location with a few buildings already built and uh, overall it's pretty dead next up we've got sanctuary and this is one that we all know and love and here it is it's a nice little neighborhood this is the one where we grew up or uh, where our character was beforehand pre-war here we have abernathy farms now this farm is unique due to the fact that it has a giant tower right in the center of it and overall the landscape is very clear so uh, you gotta protect yourself pretty well here and then we have one of my favorite uh, Red Rocket just because this is where we met dog meat and it's a really like peaceful like homey type of feel just like a uh, sanctuary so a really nice place to build a settlement and here we have gray garden on the map and uh, it's a really nice place if you like organic fruits just like me you know I eat those organics and you can eat these and it's really sweet and uh, overall it's a really nice place as you can see we got the nice little bridge on the side there and now we have Oberland Station and it's a nice little small tower, actually it's pretty ugly. It's right beside the train track, so if you're into the railroad types stuff, you might like this one. And this is Starlight Drive-In with a nice little, uh, whatever you want to call that, and a big screen for, for watching movies. And here we have Somerville Place and it's a nice cozy broken down place. It's a house that's broken down. Someone took a bite out of that. It looks like Godzilla did. But it's overall nice. Here's a crop. Here's a, some crops. And here is Egret Tours Marina. Uh, over here we got a big big uh, building with uh, double flooring already. And we got the uh, lake right behind us. Really nice. Real nice. Overall big place. Uh, kinda and here we have ten pines bluff and it's a really nice place We've got a nice scenery to look at the horizon a big big landscape here really really cool up next We've got hangman's alley and uh, this is as the name implies an alley. It's a closed off space uh, it was full of raiders, so you gotta take care of those bad guys. And here we have Outpost Zamanji. Yes, no, that was not the name. But we've got a bunch of cabins here already. We got a nice landscape. There's a green bridge right behind this place. And overall, it's pretty small. And here we have Covenant on the map. And as you can see, it says Welcome to Covenant in blue and yellow colors. Vault colors, if I say so myself. And it's a really nice place. It reminds me of The Walking Dead where they live. You know, we got a nice little town going on in here already. And at the bottom of the map, we've got Murkwater Construction Site. Now this place, as the name implies, we've got a lot of mire lurks in this area so you want to be careful here as you can see it's a swampy swampy area a lot of wide space here up next we've got taffington boathouse now as the name implies again it's a boathouse what did you expect and you can see the river right behind this house. And next, fairly close to Diamond City is Jamaica Plain. Really, really big place. As you can see, a lot of things going on here. It's a small little town. A shanty town and uh, Jamaica. Jamaica is where it's at. And here we have Bunker Hill. Again, a scenery in Boston that we must not forget. This was in the trailer of Fallout 4, of course. And uh, overall, it's a nice uh, little town, village, whatever you want to call this place. And here we have Green Top Nursery. A great place to put all your grannies in a settlement. This is a place for them. You can build like a farms and stuff here, you know? And now we've got County Crossing. And as you can see, it's, uh, it's a nice settlement. Yeah, why not build in this settlement? Here we have Boston Airport. And we've got some few plane crashes. Uh, planes being crashed and it's a nice place to build. Why not? Up next, we've got the castle. And it's at the bottom corner of the map. And as the name implies, there is no castle. In fact, there's uh, a bunch of water. 
a bunch of water. And here we have the slog at the top corner of the map. And it, as the name implies, again, it looks like a dump. It's a slog sluggy place. You don't want to build in this area. And here we have the Finch Farm, or should I say the Pinch Farm. And it's a small location right under a green bridge and you can see a pinch. Up next we've got Warwick Homestead. And this area is huge. It's a huge, huge place to build a settlement. As you can see, we've got a lot of water, a lot of water surrounding us. So it's a great place for that. And here we have Nordhagen Beach right at the side of the map. And it's as the name implies, it's a beach. It's a big white beach, as you can see. A great place for you to put your boys and girls in swimsuit apparel. And here we have the coastal cottage. And what's at this place? Let me guess. A cottage, yes. This is a small little area for you to build a settlement with a cottage. And here's Kingsport Lighthouse. What's here? A lighthouse. A lighthouse and you know the thing about this place is it is fairly scary I mean it's a scary place a place for Halloween and here on the map we have Croup Manor it's on a tiny little island and just like the other one this thing is also a scary feel to it a horror feel and you can actually see the lighthouse from afar and overall it's a great place to build a settlement and here we have one of the coolest of the coolest locations for you to build a settlement it's the spectacle island and it's an island all by itself so there's nothing else connecting to this place and it's a great place to actually build something like a resort for yourself you know to get away from everything in the wasteland but anyways guys until next time, I will see you guys in another Fallout 4 video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video so you can see all of the settlement locations and hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to leave a like and actually add this video to a playlist or something because you can keep coming back to this video if you want to find a place that you want to build a settlement but you don't know how it looks like or something like that or you can't find the, it on the map or anything like that. Just save it on a playlist and uh, yeah. Until next time guys, I will see you guys in another Fallout 4 video. Peace out.